GSB, the official banking partner of the CSGN, the only bank you'll ever need. Visit mygsb.bank for more information. After the semifinals of the 55th Bork Junior Tournament wrapped up this morning at Brooklawn Country Club, four players advanced to the finals, where the two winners, Luke Stennett and Junsi Guo, remained in the lead through the entirety of their matches. In the boys' competition, Rhett DuPont faced off against Luke Stennett, who started out strong after parring one and birdieing two. As he continued making birdies and pars, he finished hole seven with a six-up lead. As Stennett is racking in the points hole after hole, he has a great approach shot on 11, right near the hole. His putt lips out, but it's good enough to secure him the 8-7 and seven win and champion title. Kind of had the same game plan throughout the whole time, just have fun and play the best I can. On the third hole, I got a good break with my drive, thinning it out a little right. And uh, I had about 120 yards to the hole, and I hit a sand wedge to about like four feet. And after that, I'm like, all right, today's my day. Started attacking pins and went out pretty well. I think my driver was on most of the tournament, and I think that really set me up well for success in the tournament. I also didn't really play towards pins, which I think was a, a really good strategy with these greens, and I was just able to two-putt and sometimes one-putt and get the, get the job done. In the girls' competition, Paige McKenna made Junsi Guo fight hard for her win. Guo was up two after birdieing hole three. They tie holes four through six, and McKenna wins hole seven with the birdie. The two alternate winning throughout holes seven through 11. Junsi stretches her lead on hole 15 with a three up lead over McKenna and finishes out the match on hole 16, winning four and two. Uh, it means a lot because this is my first win ever since coming to Connecticut. Uh, this tournament can help me get more confidence for my uh, following tournaments in my season. After hole 12, like I just I just bounced back from my previous um, mistakes, and I just kept gain, gaining some momentum that allowed me to win on my final hole. I could drive most of the par fives on and two, and that gave me some pretty easy birdies that you know just. Uh, gave me some more confidence. Uh, my coach Gary always told me to win, but the win stands for what's important now. So I focused on what was important now, which was, you know, putting it on the fairway, putting it on the green, two-putting, and that's just what kept me focused. <laughs>